Hey guys, welcome to another showcase today, and this is going to be looking at something called Smart Inspector. So, a user called Neon Age on Twitter, you can follow this user, check them out on Reddit, and you can check out their GitHub page. They've created a really cool user experience extension for Unity, which allows you to almost add a tabbed inspector to be able to get rid of the different components you've got there. It's got a tool tip for each of the very specific tabbed icons. It's got compact Unity events, so sometimes Unity events can be quite solid themselves and it's got improved dragging capabilities to drag your different components around. So we're gonna look at this today. So before this video starts, if everybody could leave a like on the video, it would really, really help me out. So thank you so much. Now, if you navigate to the GitHub page, I will leave a link in the description and the pinned comment and you can check this out. And you get to something neon-edge and the smart inspector and it will give you some examples of the different things that it does that I've already mentioned, but we'll go through those. If you want to get this package, you can go to the top corner where it says the code, you can drop it down and you need to clone this repository. So you just press download the zip and download that to anywhere you want, i.e. your desktop or wherever you usually save files. You want to extract that and then just import that or drag that folder straight into Unity and it'll just be the smart-inspector-main. Just drag that straight into your Unity project. So you can see my inspector on the right hand side here. And you can see that it's made up of the components that we would usually expect. Now with the asset that we've just installed, we've got little tabs at the top, which are all different icons for the different types of components we have. They've each got a tooltip to tell us what they are. And we can untick each of those components and get rid of them or tick the ones that we would like. So say we only wanted to keep one, we can keep transform selected and deselect the rest and we'll only have transform on that particular object. If we wanted to just look at the transform and the script, we can hide the other components so we don't need to see them. And of course, if you deselect everything, they all are visible again. And of course you can just solo it to one specific item. It has got the ability and improved dragging to drag different components around in the inspector. And say we use Unity events, we can add a Unity event trigger. And we need to make sure that now we've added that it didn't display, so we can tick to make sure that it's available. And you can add a new Unity event, I'll just use an on point to enter. And you can see now it's a, it's a collapsible element. So if we just add a few, you can see that now the Unity events, we can add as many as we want to this and it's collapsible and we don't have to see this all the time and it be cluttering up our workspace. And also if you do need to go to the settings, you can go to edit and you can look at the open labs and you can look at the smart inspector. And you, as you can see, you've got the components toolbar, which you can choose to have or hide. You can show the help button in the inspector. You can show to have presets if you really want which is another button on this right hand side of the inspector. And so then you can show in brackets that whether it's a script or not, sometimes you don't really need that if you are used to Unity. You can add the script field or hide it if you don't need it. So as I say, you can check this out on the GitHub page and you can get this for your own project. You can support this developer and you can check them out on Twitter and other places. I'll leave all the links for you to check this out. Let me know what you think because I think it's a really awesome asset so you should get hold of it today. So be sure to check out my Patreon for scripts, projects and everything that you see in my tutorials day to day. Be sure to come and join me on Discord. Come and look at my great assets on the Unity Store and thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.